A Kiba backup can do more than just back up your Joomla website. It can also back up files and sites that exist above your web roots. There are two occasions where you may do this. If you have a downloads folder that you are protecting and keeping above the web root, you want to make sure you back that up as well. And you may also have installed an additional website, perhaps a subdomain for a forum like this. And you want to make sure that in your Akiba backup, you include the forum as well as the Joomla websites. To do this, we need to go to our Akiba Backup Professional. If we scroll down, we can see there are two options for including data in the backup. One for databases and one for directories. To begin with, let's look at the databases. So select multiple databases definition. Here, we can add the details of the additional databases that we want to back up. We do not need to give any information for our Joomla website database as this is automatic. Click on the small plus icon and a pop-up opens with asking for the connection details for your database. And you should have this from your web host. First, enter the host name, the username, the password, and finally, the name of the database you wish to back up and click on Test Connection. When you have a success message, click Save. You've now configured a Kiba backup to include this additional database in your backup. We now want to include the files. So let's return to our control panel and select the off-site directories inclusion. Again, click on the small plus icon and then click on the folder icon. Here we can see that we have in our hosting account three folders, downloads, where I'm storing those off-site downloads, forum for my PHPV forum, and public HTML, which is where my current Joomla website is installed. If I want to include the downloads folder, simply select it and select use and then click on the save icon. Let's repeat that for the forum by clicking on the plus, browse, selecting the forum and setting use. And finally save. So now we've added our external database for the forum and our two folders for the downloads and for the forum itself. So let's go back to the control panel and perform our backup. Once the backup's complete, go to Manage Backups and download it to your computer. We're now ready to look at the restoration process of this Akiba backup that includes the additional folders and websites. I'm going to use my FTP program to connect to a new server where I'm going to restore this backup. I'm using FileZilla, but you could use any FTP program. Connect to the new server. As you can see, my new server has a public HTML folder where my website would live. But if I navigate in, you can see that it's empty. Let's take the backup file and copy that across to our new server. And finally, let's take our kickstart.php file and copy that across as well. Now, let's return to our web browser and complete the restoration. Go to the special URL for the kickstart.php file, close this message and begin. We can see it has selected the archive file we can now let the Akiba Backup Kickstart program extract the files to our web server. Once that has completed, we can run the installer. As with all Akiba Backup restorations, the installer checks that our server is suitable 
and then we can click Next. And we're now ready to restore the site's main database, the one for your Joomla website. So click Next to continue. Here we have an additional screen. We can see here that this screen is to set up the extra database, the one for our PHPB forum. So here, make sure you enter the correct details for the forum, not the Joomla website. And click Next. The installer is now ready to restore your downloads folder to above the web route. Click Next and the files will be copied. And do the same again for the forum folder. And finally, complete the rest of the site setup for your Joomla website as you would do normally. We can see our website is now up and running. The final step is to remove the copy of the external folders from inside our public HTML web space. To do this, return to FileZilla. Here we can see that the forum and the downloads folders were successfully copied. And if we go into the public HTML where our Joomla website is, we can see a folder called external files. If you go inside it just to double check, you can see the forum and the downloads. We no longer need this, so let's go back up, select that folder and delete it. So by using the multiple database definitions and the offsite directories inclusion feature of Akiba Backup Professional, we can use it to not only back up our Joomla website, but to back up all the other websites within our hosting as well.